name is Kinga and I'm the president of the Etobicoke Lakeshore Riding Association. Today on September 17th, we're having our volunteer appreciation party uh, to celebrate winning Etobicoke Lakeshore with Doug Holliday, our newly elected MPP. I would like to thank all of the volunteers, contributors, and members of the campaign team for their hard work and dedication. We couldn't have done it without you. If you haven't been involved with our riding association or during the last by-election, uh, please get involved with our board. We are a great group of people and we want to help uh, Doug Holliday get re-elected again. Thank you. like to thank everyone that helped us. Uh, we did have an awful lot of help and without that we wouldn't have won. So tonight we're going to have a little event here to thank the people that came out and worked so hard and I'm pleased to see so many of them out this evening. Uh, you can never know, we, we might be into another election uh, sooner than we think. I've been to Queen's Park for one week now and uh, I can see that there's certainly, uh, there's uncertainty uh, uh, with the government and uncertainty with the opposition actually. Uh, election I think could be called at any time. One of the things though I'm very pleased at Queen's Park to see the performance of Tim Hudak. Uh, Tim has in my opinion outperformed anybody in the house and uh, he works very hard and he's just done a great job there and I think uh, if we do get to the next election we're going to have a very positive result not just in Etobicoke Lakeshore but throughout the province. Well, the board is looking forward to uh, an election this spring. I think it's time to uh, change the government in Ontario. Um, and we think Doug Holliday is going to make a very important contribution to the running of the province in a much more responsible way. So um, if, uh, it's actually in the hands of Andrew Horvath, which scares me a little, but nonetheless, we are anticipating a spring election. And so we're marshalling all of the resources that we possibly can to make sure that we re-elect uh, Doug Holliday in Etobicoke Lakeshore. We're so pleased with the number of people that came out to help Doug uh, in the by-election. And we're looking forward to uh, seeing many of those people um, in the spring as well. Um, it's just amazing how much time people are willing to commit to Doug uh, and their money as well. I mean, donations are very important. It costs well over $100,000 to run an election. And uh, we need uh, both people who are willing to uh, donate their time and donate their money to make it a success in the spring. So please, come out. Do what you can. Oh, you know, I trust when there's a general election that Doug will get back in. I think he's people in this area know him very well. Uh, he's a strong candidate. He's done a fantastic job for Etobicoke uh, and uh, and for the city of Toronto uh, in the years that uh, that he was there. And I think he can do the same job for the province. Um, I think the province really needs people like Doug. And and it sounds like people are starting to realize that. So I think the prospects for him. Uh, uh, getting re-elected when there's a, a full election and the PC party getting in are tremendous. Well, i got to tell you, I'm so excited that Doug Holliday is now our new MPP in Etobicoke Lakeshore. Doug brings so much experience and integrity and credibility uh, to uh, not only the Conservative Party, but also to this riding. Having been a councillor for many years in Etobicoke, having been the mayor of Etobicoke, he's done a lot of work in this riding and has been very, very familiar with Etobicoke and, and Etobicoke issues. So having him as our new MPP is going to be great. It's going to add a lot of uh, attention to the work that we've been doing already as a riding association. And our party is extremely happy to have him as a new MPP. nominated in November and we've canvassed every day from January 5th to June 30th. And we only stopped doing that because there were these by-elections so we came to help up Doug Holliday and Ken Karup and Scarborough Guildwood. And even on election day actually for the by-elections I was here in Etobicoke Lakeshore and at five o'clock they said okay we have enough people and I drove across the 401 to get to Scarborough Guildwood and we came within 1200 votes of winning that seat and we had no business winning that seat. And uh, if Ken had had a little more help, I think, during the, um, the campaign period, we would have won that seat too. 1,200 votes is very, very close. And it was really a matter of who was going to show up. So we can do it. We can take uh, Toronto again. I think the seats are there for us. And under the leadership of Tim Hudak, I'm sure we're going to get there. We've got some great policies 
and uh, appreciate any support. If anybody wants to come out and help, please give us a call. I'm at 647-606-9441 or at robin at robinmartin.ca. Look forward to hearing from you. Hi, my name is Brett Chang. I'm the volunteer coordinator on the Doug Holiday campaign. I'm excited to be here tonight at our volunteer appreciation party where we pay thanks to all of our volunteers who put in a lot of hard work in the month of August. And we're here to celebrate the uh, election of our newest MPP in Etobicoke Lakeshore, Doug Holiday. Uh, it's an exciting time for the PC caucus, a lot of momentum uh, to take back this province and create a better Ontario. And uh, I just wanted to thank all the volunteers and uh, we're excited to be here. Well, my experience with Doug Holiday was great. We had a great campaign team. I had lots of fun. I'm only in high school right now, so I was uh, doing it there for my community service hours, but uh, since then I've had an amazing experience and I'd be sure to come down and help out in, uh, on other ca uh, campaigns. One of the advantages that I actually got was leadership skills. I was able to uh, go in big groups, uh, tell people what to do and how to do stuff, train people and all that, and uh, lead more groups when we were doing our canvases. And I am living in the riding and I've been living in the riding for about the last nine years. I've been involved with the party for many, many years, both provincially and, and federally. Um, the last couple of years, I have just gotten so unhappy that I need to just get more involved um, uh, with the party because I'm so unhappy with the Liberals and the way the province of Ontario is going. My biggest concerns are certainly health care and uh, the, the economy in general and uh, Etobicoke specifically, and, and Doug has done such a wonderful job representing us locally, um, uh, both in the city as well as in the riding, and tremendous confidence in the man at, at the provincial level. Um, my name's Louise Gomez. I, I've been involved with the, uh, with the Conservative Party for, I guess, around the, oh, cheaper since I finished college, <laughs> but uh, and active with the Con Ontario Progressive Conservative Party since the early 90s. And uh, I really look forward to seeing um, Tim Hudak and the party, um, Tim Hudak as the leader, become the, uh, the party in power in, in Queen's Park. And I believe that'll happen on the next election. We really, uh, with people like Doug Holliday behind him and, and with his ability and his high profile from Toronto, uh, with his input, we should be able to win more seats in the GTA. We look forward to being able to recept represent candidates in the Greater Toronto Area in the next election and I do know that with Mr. Holliday's planning expertise that the party will be moving forward and that Tim Hudak will be the next uh, Premier of Ontario. I participated in the Doug Holliday campaign. I, uh, I shadowed uh, Doug uh, for part of the uh, for, for part of the by-election and as well uh, pretty much every day I was out on the streets uh, leading up teams, uh, door knocking, canvassing, making sure that we had people out and as well uh, of course on election day uh, out there uh, as, a, as a poll captain uh, to try and make sure that uh, all of our identified voters came out and voted for us and just so happy to be a small part of this incredible uh, uh, break into the 416 and so glad that uh, uh, that Tim Hudak and the Ontario PC party are finally a part of the 416 and hoping that we build upon that. My name is Jillian Sevechko and I was really happy to help Doug Holliday win this riding because he's going to make an excellent excellent MPP for Etobicoke Lakeshore and I was a candidate in York Southwestern and the candidate of record for the last election at the federal level and uh, getting the Conservatives in, we need Conservatives in government today to keep us on track and to keep our economy growing. My name is Rob Hoy. I live in the Willowdale riding. I've been involved in politics for 20 years now actually. The very first uh, campaign I ever worked on was the uh, for the Reform Party of Willowdale in the 1993 federal election. And I've been on the uh, Willowdale uh, board for the provincial party, the PC party of Willowdale for uh, I think about four years now, four or five years. And Doug uh, would be uh, David Shiner back in the 2007 fe uh, provincial election in Willowdale. But other than that, it, we, you, you don't usually have the luxury of working, uh, volunteering for someone who's so high profile and, and uh, experienced and popular as, as Doug Holiday is. Hi, Cindy Buddha here. Can't thank, I'm so glad that Doug Holiday got in. It was a fantastic by-election. 
can't say enough about the support and the volunteers. I worked with many volunteers canvassing. Everybody was just on the go, hopeful, just can't think. We're just so glad that Doug got in and we just hope he goes on and on and on. Shine, 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 shine.